Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka Batbomb82, and we have a new drop from Battle Tribes, so let's just jump right into it. Alright guys, now let's take a closer look at this newest drop from Battle Tribes, and this is actually very exciting because we're getting something very different from Spy Monkey, which I always think is a lot of fun. Uh, let's just jump right into it. We're going to start off with Sweet Grizzly here. Now this is super cool. So what we're getting here is the original BTW wrestling figures from Battle Tribes that we've seen before, uh, but they've subtracted the two fruit heads that we used to get and gave us new head sculpts to kind of reinvent and reinvigorate the BTW figure, which I think is a very smart move because this is just so cool. And honestly, I think this is a lot better. A bear head sculpt is fantastic. I think that it just works perfectly with these guys. Uh, and the options with having a really cool bear head are just endless in my opinion. And the sculpt itself is just fantastic. I love the ears, the little tuft on the head and the cheeks, those really thick brows and the teeth, man, the snarling teeth look so good. The eyes, the nose, all look great done in this brown body. And then we get the championship bell. We get like a honeybee like stripes for the uh, trunks there, which I think looks really cool too. So I love that. And we can see all the different parts that he comes with. I just think it looks fantastic. Um, again, we see all the different head sculpts. Uh, we see the different colors of that bright yellows, which I think look really, really nice. So I love that quite a bit. Uh, but probably the biggest thing we're going to get also is that, that not just the event, the, uh, excuse me, reinvigorate the head sculpts. They completely redid the miniature body for the little mini mini fig that comes with these BTW figures. And this is awesome. And I love the shape of the pose. Looks great. The musculature looks great. I love the little fighting bee on there. I went ahead and put the luchador mask on there. Uh, do you guys remember a wrestling tag team called the Killer Bees? I don't know if that's what this is an homage to, but that's kind of the vibes I'm getting. So that works out really cool. Now here's an older version of the little mini. Now I still really like these a lot. Um, the pose was really fun. You know, it reminds me of those old gumball machine toys that I used to get when I was a kid. But this one is just so much better. Where, you know, the legs were kind of like sculpted, put uh, together real nice and tight. The pose is a little more dynamic over here. Again, the more separate legs still stands very well and balanced. Uh, I think it even fits the head sculpts a lot better, you know, than this older body does. So that, again, I still love this one. I have a bunch of these little guys, but this is just such an improvement. I'm really glad they went this route because I think that came out great. But what I've done is I took that bare head and put it on a Vor body. And come on, dude. How freaking cool does that look? At some point, we have to be get figures based on some type of battle beast with the bear head like this. Just recall it however they want. I mean, that is so cool looking. I just love the idea of this. Again, that head sculpt has just endless possibilities. Next up, we have Tiki Tiki Jones. Now again, much like the bear one that we just saw, uh, again, they added a different head sculpts being this really cool Tiki head sculpt. And I just think this is again, so smart, so much fun, and just, just puts in a lot more of new life into the BTW figures, which I love. And I, I, I'm honestly gonna miss the fruit heads, but this is just such an improvement, man. And I'm so happy with this. The colors look fantastic with those pale greens and oranges. I love like all the tribal markings that we get all over the body. Just looks so nice. Even under the back here, the belt looks fantastic. I always love the BTW belts. Those are so cool. But that head sculpt, man. Oh my God. Look at the colors with the blue eyes. I love the uh, palm tree they get as for a nose that goes into the forehead. That big smile. Just so fantastic. And we could turn that around and we get an extra head sculpt on the back of that with a more angry head. Again, just looks so cool, fully painted. Again, 
more options man that's basically getting two head sculpts in one which is great and you can see all the different parts that he comes with as well again you can see you see he comes with the bear head the, the say them luchador mask and the greens and oranges i mean all that stuff is a lot of fun and of course we also do get that new minifig body which i think looks great and the burger head looks awesome with the, all the colors of the blues around the eyes and all that i love he has a little pineapple on his shirt that is so much fun these new minis are so good dude these are just again vast improvements i love them so much and then much like the other one I didn't show this off as much, but the other, the bee, or the bear, excuse me, gets uh, the tiki head as well. And you can see what its colors are like that. I just think it looks so good. Again, reversed heads. Again, I love the option of this. I think the tiki head is just, oh my God, that is such a welcome addition. I love it so much. I just want a whole army of tiki warriors. Now, something super cool that I think they're finally doing is just... I'm so welcome because I know a lot of us are going to use these types of pieces So we're getting blank bodies here and you can see all the different colors that we get and different variations um, But this is just basically your standard battle tribe slash warlords of war buck, which I think looks great Here's the blue one here uh, again, just your musculature You got the standard battle tribes wrists and like furry trunk pieces and boots and things like that, which are great um, This is gonna be for for a lot of us who've been, you know, collecting Battle Tribes and Warlords of War, just Glyos, period, who have a ton of extra parts, especially head sculpts that are just collecting dust in bins and containers, um, we can finally utilize a lot of those pieces for a cheaper price. Instead of having to buy an extra full figure, you get these blank bodies and you could do whatever you want with them. And I think that's very, very smart. But I think the one that's going to sell out is going to be the glow in the dark one. Oh man, I'm gonna need 10 of these because I wanna make a full army of glow in the dark figures, utilizing every head sculpt that I have in glow in the dark. So this is something I'm definitely going to need here, uh, but this is just very, very cool. I also really like this one right here, this brown one back here. Uh, this pretty much matches the same tone as the bear. Uh, what I've kind of been doing, taking this head sculpt from that wrestler like that, getting that bald head and uh yeah kind of looks like a naked dude but i think that's a lot of fun and that's exactly what these are for just having fun mixing and matching all the parts that you already have for a lower price point so what I ended up doing, I took a few of those base bodies that we get, uh, and I just started adding parts from my bins. You know, I know, like, again, a lot of us have extra parts and just random things. Again, especially head sculpts, man. We have so many. And I just put a little extra parts on here. I put the little purple harness. Uh, we got that blue cowled head from the, uh, what was it, the old uh, Skeletor homage figure from way back when. I put that purple baton in his hand. You know, something very, very simple, but still looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, the color on that blue match perfectly um i also put <laughs> made this one right here this like glow in the dark ninja bat using that glow in the dark body um i can see these glow in the dark bodies selling out really fast so i would jump on those asap so i found a glow in the dark bat head i found this really cool uh clobber armor with that kind of like teal green kind of color or that mint green color that kind of matches the green of the glow in the dark pieces same thing with a knife I put on a black shield a ninja loincloth piece belt like that i think that works out really cool so again that's again simple simple stuff that you could do with these and then i put this guy together which i think came out pretty cool man this is just again the black body i added this more tech arm some clobber pieces that i put together with some different black and gold bits uh the what is it the um anklio belt with the black and gold, the scarf piece, that perfect head right there. Uh, it looks really cool, man. Again, these are just simple types of builds that you can do with these. And I think it's just so smart to have stuff like this where it's cheaper options to still utilize and make your own figures, especially for us who like to pop and swap pieces and, you know, do our own alt builds. And again, for those of us that just have a ton of different pieces, these are perfect for guys like us. So there it is guys, my look at the newest wave of Battle Tribes. Now overall, I've always loved the BTW figures, I'm a big giant wrestling fan, and the fact that Battle Tribes went from barbarians and fantasy type characters to wrestling is really cool to me, and I love the fact that 
They're reinvigorating these figures, and I think they're vast improvements. I absolutely love the bear head. I think that thing could be used for so many different options that you want to build for future figures. I think that's a lot of fun, so really happy with the bear. I also extremely love that Tiki, man. That is such a fun piece. I can only imagine all the decos we're going to get on future figures. The fact that it's reversible, so you got even more options is a lot of fun. And then the fact that they're giving us a whole entirely new mini mini fig, which is something they didn't need to do, but they did, and it's awesome, and it was totally worth it, and then they, they absolutely nailed it. But I also love the fact that we're getting blank bodies now from now on. Uh, the, uh, different colors, so you could utilize all your extra parts to do different types of builds. We even get accessories packs, like different boot packs and things like that. You can even buy capes on the website, which is really fun. I'll leave a link in the bio below. But man, this is such a fun wave. I love to see where Battle Trap is going. They're really thinking about their lines and how to improve them and how to do things for us, the fans, which I love. And I think they're all definitely a must get. So be excellent to each other, and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.